So I bought a storage unit for $440 and it is just chuck full with collectibles. I'm so excited. I already went through one trailer load yesterday. Check out that video, part one. This is part two, this stuff. So let's go unbox it. So we've got everything unloaded off the trailer, stacked on some pallets here. And there goes that heater just in time. A couple things in front of the pallet, but we've got a lot of great stuff here. Starting over here, we've got some roasting pans. I should be able to get 10 or 15 bucks for the set. And some binders of cards. Let's take a look through these. First binder is empty. All right, wonderful. Next binder is lady cards. We've got, well, we're going to assume there's gonna be hockey cards in here. And there are hockey cards in here. Next one, let me give you a little better view here. Probably gonna be football. And what do you know? Big full binder of football cards. Here's more lady cards. The binders that are pretty full, we'll probably get about 10 bucks each for. These, like this hockey card that isn't incredibly full, probably in the range of five. And then lastly, we've got these American Bandstand music cards. And they're not all American. These are the American Bandstand. These are something else. Also musicians, though. Next, we've got this Native American drum. It's a nice one. It doesn't look old, uh, but it does look like something they probably used at like a powwow event or something like that. It's definitely, I have no idea what this is going to go for. But uh, we'll send it to a local auction and figure it out. On the topic of Native American things, we've got a spear. We've got a nice blade on the end. Probably an eight inch blade or so. But this, look at the detail on this. I found some of these beads actually in the last video. This is a long, well, if I sit on the ground, the spear itself is probably about six and a half feet tall with the blade probably about seven feet tall. Again, I have no idea what this type of stuff goes for, uh, but it should fetch a decent amount at auction. Next, we've got a guitar here. This is a pretty nice case. It's one with the backpack. So you can put it around like a backpack. Um, I already looked at the guitar. I've never heard of Jay Reynolds. I don't know if that was the person's name who owned it at some point or if that's the brand name. However, this is made in China, so I do not expect this to be worth much. This is probably about 80 bucks new, so we'll probably get about 30 or so for it. Let's start going through some boxes. This one looks like junk. Uh, some glassware, some home decor. What is in here? The candle. So nothing special in here. We've got some candle holders. Assuming that's what's actually in the box. It looks like it probably is. Yes, a set of candle holders. We've got a couple of board games. Uh, used, not in great shape, but maybe a dollar each for them. And then in here, these are, looks like trivia games and, and trash. We've got a couple of Native American drawings. Look, they're dated 1986. Um, I don't think they're worth much, but you never know. We've got a gross hat. Stuffed animal, we'll put that in the box of plush. This looks like half of a Hot Wheels box. So unless we find the other half, this is going in the trash. Uh, and the rest of this just looks like Miss What in the World? A handmade rattle. All right, and the rest of this looks like miscellaneous toys. We got some plush, uh, and then just part of a watch. Here's the other part of a watch. Looks like just toys, nothing special here. So we're just gonna fill a box of miscellaneous toys. All right, now let's go through this box. It looks like clothing. It's important to always dig through it though because you never know. Oh, there's a jersey. This does not look like anything special though. Local team, I get. Oh, Notre Dame. Uh, it's always good to go through these because you never know if someone put anything of value in the bottom of the box. 
Uh, but it does not look like the case in this box. So you remember the arrows we found yesterday, I've got the bow. I don't know enough about bows, I don't think it's worth much. It is the Indian Series Silver Hawk. Um, probably worth about 15 or 20 dollars I would imagine. Still 15 or 20 bucks. We'll throw the arrows with it and send it to a local auction. We've got another large box here. Looks like linens. Blankets, there's a nice afghan here. Uh, theirs is not all linens. First off, we've got a porcelain doll with a hat. Uh, let's dig to the bottom. There's more stuff under these towels. We got some paperwork. Roll that away. Alright, let me show you what it looks like in here. So there's other stuff in this box, but unfortunately I can't get you a good angle. So we've got a puzzle. Looks like a bunch of puzzles. Another puzzle. So that might be what's in here. What is this? We've got a little star that goes into a regular light bulb. More towels and stuff. Looks like more paperwork to throw out. Looks like a whole bunch of puzzles. This one looks like a picture. Ooh, got a silver PS2. That's about 50 bucks. We've got some games here. Let's see, 007 for PlayStation. An empty case. Crash for PlayStation. Uh, Crash 2 for PlayStation. Never heard of this one. And it is in there. Bloody Roar 2, never heard of that one. And Counter-Strike Source for PC. Additionally, in here, there's a PlayStation. That's about 20 bucks. And then we've got the cords and the controllers for the PlayStation. No controllers or cords for the PS2, but I've got some of those laying around. So this game here that you just saw me pull out, it is complete. Uh, in the case with the artwork and everything the case has a little crack but I can the case can easily be replaced the disc is in nice shape uh, a little foggy from the cold but other than light scratches nothing serious let me show you what it's selling for on eBay these are sold prices for used copies 152 130 209 110 160 that's a different game 135, 144, 135, 169. So needless to say, this game is a home run. All right, so additionally in this box, we've got, well, what is this? Candle Elites. So I guess a candle holder, it looks hand painted. I'm sure that'll sell for a couple bucks. Uh, we've got, uh, some sort of massager, I guess. It's just the base, I think. I think it's like a TENS machine. If it is a TENS machine, it might be worth a few bucks. All right, we've got garbage. Garbage. Oh, a heavy bucket. We'll get to that in a minute. A whole bunch of family photos. Here's some document envelopes. Someone will pay a dollar for those in the dollar sale. What is in this envelope? Court documents. And the rest of this looks to be family photos. And then a heavy bucket. Let's see what is in here. Dirt. There was a bucket of dirt. All right then. We've got a wooden box here. Oh, oh, dropping stuff. Wooden box here full of stuff. Uh, Craftsman rivet gun, a bunch of rivets. That's probably worth about 10 bucks. Uh, some sports balls that hang on the wall. We've got a basketball, soccer ball, another basketball, but smaller. A football. We've got a cup full of random hardware. Uh, let's see, oh, more train stuff. 
Uh, Bachman trains. We got a tanker. These are all cellophane wrapped together. It has a receipt. Here, they paid, it's only showing three of them. They paid $10, $5, and no, quantity of four, $79.99 they paid for those four. And you know what? I'm seeing this all sales are final, which normally isn't there. This is when the store was closing, so they got a bit of a discount. Okay, I guess regular price is probably 85. There might even be a sticker on here somewhere. All right, right here, 85 bucks for this lot is what the pawn shop sold it for. This box is called Lisa's. Looks like it's gonna be clothing. We got a wallet here with driver's license, identification, nothing of value though. Some purses, camouflage duffel bag. Looks like it's primarily purses and bags. And a hat. A Hooters hat. All right, that is it in here. Next box here. Oh, I already see something fun. Fireworks. We may need to melt some snow with this. Now, let's see what else we've got. We've got some garbage. We've got, oh, uh, looks like more garbage. Books that came with a computer. What's this? Uh, junk. Whole bunch of junk. Junk, junk, junk. Throw all this away. We've got more fireworks, sparklers, and pistol peat. Oh, we will be lighting these. Junk. Looks like it. Rug. More fireworks. And the rest of this looks to be blankets. All right, this box is heavy. Let's see what's in it. Ooh, this is factory sealed. Bag of tobacco. Uh, we've got a Batman with a, that's gross, that's candy. Uh, but we've got a Batman tin. Garbage washcloth. Whole bunch of cords and cables. Uh, I don't see anything too special in here though. Most of these are probably just going to get scrapped. It's cables that will come in handy, but I already have a million of most of these, so not necessary. This one might be worth a few bucks on eBay. But the rest of these are going to the scrapyard. We've got a briefcase here full of card protectors. All right, this box looks pretty good. First of all, we've got this. Looks like some vintage scissors. These are the ones with the uh, little beveled edge so you can get a cool design. We've got some knives. Native American style knife, stainless steel is all that's marked on it. We've got another one here. At this point, I don't even know if they're considered knives or maybe daggers. Uh, also just labeled stainless steel. What else do we have? A little bag here. Nothing in it. Some beat up purses. Some children's artwork. Cool native looking shirt. Not really worth anything, but let's see. Old picture. We've got some hats. Again, nothing of value. We've got a wallet here with nothing in it, it appears. Bummer. All right, another old purse, some binders, a notebook. Uh, looks like a bead kit. That'll probably sell for a little bit. Oh, 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 decorative. I thought maybe we had some antique guns here. They hang on the wall, they're decorative. Either way, probably get 20 bucks for the pair. What do we have? Oh, oh, what do we have here? Looks like a calendar. 
There's a baseball bat in it. Uh, Milwaukee Brewers, it says on the end. And looks like we've got a couple of posters here. This one is just a calendar, 2005 calendar. And this one is a Native American print on it. This one as well. And with it is uh, where it was purchased, I guess, the Great Lakes Fish and Wildlife Commission. So other than the calendar, we could probably sell those posters and the bat. This, uh, some sort of poster here, November 2006, probably not worth anything. Clothing, a book, let's see, we got an old Scrabble game, probably worth two or three dollars. Uh, sign language for dummies, I know one sign. Let's see, we've got an empty piggy bank that was painted by someone. What is in here? A bottle. It's full. There's liquid in it. This looks like probably a sealed bottle of some sort of wine or champagne. The glue is making it all sticky. Let's see, just a short sleeve on there. It doesn't say what it actually is. All right, we've got deal or no deal. We've got... Uh, jigsaw puzzle looks like a 3d earth jigsaw puzzle tribal skull dagger oh look at this thing that's gotta be worth 10 20 30 dollars somewhere in that range all right let's get this book out of here we've got a whole bunch of clothing not quite as much as i thought uh let's see product of kentucky an empty container that held once held whiskey uh, just a bunch of papers more papers some photos these are nice frames though these are ceramic frames uh, so we'll probably we'll take the pictures out probably get a couple bucks for the frames uh, we've got a bed skirt of some sort we've got some adult videos let's get these off frame here a whip, a whip. So hopefully that's not related to the adult videos because then I should probably wash my hands. Uh, what is this? Star Wars of some sort. Is this a watch? Uh, if I can get a, yes, an old Star Wars watch from the early 2000s, maybe late 90s. Uh, what else do we have here? This is, oh, that looks dangerous. I'm not even going to open that because I'm going to hurt myself. All right, uh, some beads. This looks like it's probably going to be all junk. Yes, this is all junk. Uh, some more adult DVDs. We'll toss those aside. There's a big lot of them, so we should be able to sell them. I'm not quite sure what that is. Keychain of some sort. Oh boy, here we go. I don't even know if you'd consider this a knife anymore. This is a dagger. Uh, it says, it says USA right here. It says China right there. So I'm getting kind of uh, mixed feelings here. Uh, but either way, this is probably a $20 knife, if you want to call it a knife. Uh, a bedazzled cell phone. I'll put that in the scrap bin. Uh, what is this? Um... This looks like it's probably an air mattress. Yeah, there's the air pump for it. So one time this was an air mattress. This looks to have some good stuff. Here we go. Allergy relief tea. Toss that. Uh, tin here. Ooh, that's nice. Fancy dragon knife. And it looks like there's another one in here. Right there. Uh, another slightly different but fancy dragon knife. Uh, we've got a wonder wallet here with... Uh, never mind, it's a cigarette case. Maybe worth a buck. Uh, it's nothing. We got a tin here. Oh, more knives. We've got a knife and oh, it's a belt buckle. A knife and belt buckle set. And a nice little patriotic box there. What do we have here? This looks like it's probably all papers. We've got some adult magazines we can sell with the adult DVDs. Oh, let's see, that's junk. Oh, what do we have here? Is this a 
comic book? No, it's just a, a magazine with some ads in it. Uh, let's see. Guns of the Reich. Uh, Nazi guns. So this book might be worth a little bit. We'll look that up. A uh, bunch of paperwork. Uh, what is it? Oh, we got another knife in here. If I can open it. This one's just, oh, there goes the stuff. This one's just a cheap knife, but uh, let's see. Frost Cutlery Flying Falcon. I, I would probably guess this is probably like a $5 knife. Not really any spectacular value here. Uh, another little pocket knife. Camouflage. Probably another $5 knife or so, but these little $5 ones add up. Look at this. It's a fancy dagger. Oh, all right, let's open this up. There's the sheath for it. This thing looks brand new. And there's the knife. I, I would call that a fancy dagger. Absolutely. It is definitely fancy. So, I mean, this is probably 10 or $20. And that looks like it's probably going to be everything. Some newspapers. So that is this box. So this shirt is a vintage Woolrich shirt uh, with the Aztec pattern. I think I could probably get 30 bucks on eBay for it, actually. All right, we've got another box here. That last one was really exciting. All right, this one, we got some children's artwork. We've got a puzzle. There we go, some collectible cars. That looks like just a bed sheet or something. All right, we've got this guy, Shelby GT. We've got a Formula One car here. We've got a Cobra. Let's see what's in here. Some Native American pictures. Looks like a whole bunch of tapes as well. Uh, we've got Humpty Dumpty and Friends. Bunch of these. There's the last one. All right, wrapped up in a towel here. A Native print, which I don't know, that might be signed by the artist on the back. Uh, part of a picture frame. Family picture. Note cards. Let's see. Alec Baldwin, The Shadow. Oh, what do we have wrapped up here? Just a candle. Nothing special. Seven piece train set, Jeff Gordon. That is kind of neat. We'll put that with all the Pepsi stuff. Uh, it kind of fits both of his hobbies, though. Pepsi's, Pepsi and trains. All right, we've got Spider-Man tin. That's not really worth anything. Oh, yeah, let's see. Native American coffee mug. Uh, this is... I'm not quite sure. We're going to say junk. See, here we've got a family picture album. We'll set that aside with the photos. Some mechanics gloves. This looks like it might be good. Open it up. Uh, looks like a watch, pen, and knife set. I don't know if they're meant to be a set. A little keychain here as well. Um, probably nothing too special. Probably sell for like 10 bucks. Uh, this, what is this? Hold on. This looks like probably just something that someone made here. And this guy is a blood pressure meter. This should, uh, I thought that was Clay Matthews at first. AJ Hawk. Probably still sell for a couple bucks. It's Packers. That type of stuff does does well around here. Uh, Colombian coffee sack. Ooh, vintage Pepsi vending machine. What is this? A it's a radio. Vintage Pepsi radio. Oh, let's see. We've got an Elvis magazine here. Native American book. Just some sort of folding container. 
Oh, what is neatly stored in here? Just a little PDA, no special value there. Uh, a book, put that with the books. ZZ Top playing cards. Uh, junk. This is some sort of canvas and then a book. And then the rest of this doesn't look too special. We've got papers, a calendar, all that can go in the trash. Uh, anything under the tapes does not appear. So we've got Bruce Lee collection. Um, and then some Godfather movies. So a bunch of tapes and then some more papers. So just junk. Next, we've got this scanner. It appears to be new, but the box is beat up, so I'll probably sell it used. I think I can get about 50 bucks for this on eBay. Here, we've got a ceramic bear sculpture. Should be able to get a few bucks for that. A couple of M&M collectibles. Not the wrapper, but the candy. We'll set those aside here. Uh, what is this? This valuable item is a block of wood. Garbage. We've got a wind chime. These tend to do all right. Well, so we've got some potters. That, that looks like something I don't want to deal with. Go that way. Uh, so we've got some potters. We've got a, a frisbee. Uh, what is this? A snow scraper. And the rest of this looks like books. What is this? Um, covered wagon. Oh, this is some sort of model. It's got the cutouts there. So we've got a covered wagon and a stagecoach. So a couple of brand new models there. Uh, be able to get a couple bucks for that. I think that's a toilet paper holder. All right, now books. What is this? This might be part of the workout gym. There's a large workout gym in the other unit. Um, and I found some parts so far, whoops. Uh, this should do all right. Chilton's auto repair manual for 1992 to 1996. Uh, that looks like a Ford Taurus. Doesn't really say what it's for, but I'm guessing it's a Ford Taurus. Um, Ford Motor Company right here. The Festiva, so it looks like a lot of different vehicles. Uh, Chrysler, oh, maybe this is just all vehicles from that range. This is probably gonna be worth a few bucks on eBay. Uh, and then some books that really aren't worth a whole lot. Uh, so that's it for this one. So we've also got this cigarette advertising banner. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be draped over something because it's a mirror image on both sides and it has these to go with it. So that's probably worth at least 15, 20 bucks. All right, so this box looks like clothing. Ooh, what is this? Interesting, a vintage Harlem Globetrotters jacket. I don't know, this might, it's got the name written on here, but beyond that, this might be worth some money. Created in 1993, so it's at least after that. Let's see what else we've got here. This is interesting. It looks like a pretty nice jacket that might sell for a little bit. Oh, what else? Looks like it is in fact all clothing. Some blankets, maybe. Oh. Native American style jacket. Uh, denim with leather. A little rough on the back, but people like these worn out. Might get a few bucks for that. Detroit Red Wings pendant. Uh, we'll probably sell that with the, the hockey puck that we found yesterday. This is not branded, just a work jacket. We have here a flag? No, a shower curtain. Eh, 
And that looks like that's going to be it for anything of value in here. Next box. Looks like all seasonal. Christmas and Halloween. Uh, so I'm going to dig through this and I'll let you know if I find anything noteworthy in there. All right, we've got Under the Dome on DVD. Good TV show if you haven't seen it. Oh, losing it. Couple of these wooden shelves. Uh, let's see. Envelopes. Some, some garbage. Uh, cricket phone. An empty box for a cricket phone. Garbage. Uh, Bay Beach Amusement Park. The thermos, I guess you'd call it. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to get this open. Empty. Uh, junk. Junk. Couple rolls of toilet paper. Underwear. Under the Dome Season 2. Feels a little light though, is it in here? Yes it is. All right, season one and two of this show. A pair of cheap sunglasses. Oh, we got a little car here with, not quite sure what that's supposed to be on the hood. Uh, we'll set that aside. Uh, photo, Oakland Raiders license plate. Uh, let's see, we got some mail. We got a Bible. A token, vacuum token, whatever that means. Uh, another Bible. What's in here? Uh, a diabetes meter. That might be worth a couple bucks. We'll just throw the medicine out. All right, here uh, appears to be mostly junk. got some pennies in the bottom but not much else these are always worth having around so we'll set that aside the rest of this looks like junk mostly bathroom related things all right so i'll finish going through this and let you know if i find anything we've got another box here labeled lisa's stuff last one was basically just clothing all right, so we got some movies. Whole bunch of movies. So we will set these aside. We've got, I'm gonna use this shirt to pick it up. Clearly an adult thing. Let's throw that away. What is this? Some sort of figure, decorative figure. We'll set that aside. We've got a water bottle that's seen better days. All right, so some clothing. We'll toss all this clothing in the box. We've got a digital camera, HP, so we'll look that up. Another one of these things. First good weld. So that explains, we found one of these the other day that said best on it. Oh, so Lisa must have been a welder. A whole bunch of clothing here. And dry shampoo. Let's see what else we've got. More clothing. A hamper of some sort. Got a little USB stick. Uh, four gig. So uh, probably gonna come in handy around here. All right, and then the rest of this looks like trash. Another weld, I guess. So this box is really moldy, so I'm curious to see what's in it. It's probably not gonna be in that great a shape. Looks like it's primarily electro, oh. We got an Xbox 360. Let's see if there's a hard drive in it. There is not a hard drive, so it's a four gig Xbox 360. I should have some extra cores and controllers to complete this, which will make it worth about 75 bucks or so. 
What else is in here? We've got AV cable for a PS2. We'll throw that with the silver one we got. All right, we've got some, some junk here, software, all copies of software. So that'll go in the trash. We do have an Xbox 360 game. Probably not worth much, but we'll throw it in with the system. Uh, we've got an AT&T modem. Uh, usually these are about 20 bucks on eBay. Let's see, hard drives. We've got, let's see if I can find the size on this one. Uh, I don't think it says. 20,000 megabit. So I, I don't know what that is. So 20 gig or so. Here's another one, 40 gig. So a whole bunch of hard drives that probably aren't worth much. Uh, this one's a little different. This one is, oh, where is it? I don't see it on here. Oh well. So a stack of hard drives, we're probably just going to scrap those out. We've got a brand new wireless mouse, that'll probably be worth five or ten bucks. A set of cheap Dell speakers, we'll send those to the dollar sale. We've got a charger for something. It's just a cheap off-brand charger, so we're gonna toss it. Uh, color monitor, probably. Not in the unit, unless it's an old one. Here we go, some, I think it's a Native American, but Iroquois teaching. So let me look that one up quick, because this is just weird enough of a book. It looks like it's not something that was mass produced. Uh, <laughs> waiting for it to load. Uh, here we go. Eight bucks after fees on Amazon with a decent rank. So we'll send that book in. Let's see, we've got a keyboard, um, a wireless keyboard, Walmart brand. Looks like it's new. Is there a receiver in here? There is a receiver. So we've got a brand new wireless keyboard. We'll probably pair that with the mouse. What else? Junk coaxial cable. We've got uh, upgrading and repairing windows. Uh, unless this book is within a year or two old, it's probably not worth anything. 2006, so that is going to be junk. Um, game, that's junk. All right, let me, we got a box inside of a box here, so let me get that out of the way. Oh, that's gonna be tough to get out. All right, this box was inside of it. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, Print cartridge, maybe it's still sealed. Um, maybe a print head. Uh, There's not really. Oh, there's the model number BC33E. So that might be worth something on eBay. We get the power cord for the PS2 as well as a controller. We've got the AV cable for the Xbox 360. Uh, we've got some brand new Canon ink. Uh, let's see, some cords and cables. None of this is really worth anything. Uh, everything's making a mess. Then we've got a printer in here, uh, which does not appear to be new, but it is in the original box. Interesting. That is a breakaway cable for an original Xbox, so maybe we'll find one of those in here somewhere. Uh, but we do have a printer in the original box. You know, there is some factory tape on there. This thing could be new. Um, not that it'll really matter. Because the box is all water damaged, so we're probably just going to recycle this. Here we've got a Hot Wheels track. It's got uh, stuff like this that actually launches the car. There are a couple of those. There's a couple other random things like this doesn't belong. Oh, that is Matchbox, so maybe that does belong in there. But this most certainly does not belong in there. So a whole bunch of Hot Wheels tracks. That'll do all right. Here we've got a box of movies. You can see right in here. Might be some decent ones in here. Uh, that's got to be, what, 50 movies or so? Set that down. And right next to it, we've got what looks like another box of movies. Maybe not. No, there's movies in there. So some yarn. We'll sell that. Uh, we've got just an empty case, an HDMI cable, and a random remote. Uh, a phone cord that's kind of frayed. We're going to throw that away. And then movies, and there's some newer ones. I mean, this movie just came out recently. This is a good one. If you haven't seen that, check it out. 
Uh, let's see. So there's some newer movies in here. There's some generic cases here. Oh, I wonder if there are discs in here. Oh, there are movies in here. Yeah. We've got some Blu-rays. we got Justice League. When did that come out? That couldn't have been too long ago. Uh, looking for a date on here. I don't know. I don't see a date. But that's a relatively recent one. Tomb Raider. Uh, that came out 2015, so that's not that old. So we get some more recent movies. We've got a little purse here, empty. Uh, what else we have? Picture frame. Uh, what used to be a cord for something. And Mario. All right, so this is probably another 40 movies or so. Next, we've got a Pepsi locker that will go with all the Pepsi stuff in it. A UFC guy, it's got a 75 cent tag, but I know we can get more than that for it. And beyond that, it's empty. The locker itself, we'll probably get about 15, 20 bucks for it. Next, we've got a cheap set of bookshelf speakers, probably sell for five bucks for the set. We've got a box here labeled Tony's, right there. Uh, appears to be all clothing and mostly socks. Another box labeled Lisa's is wonderful pillows. There's stuff under the pillows though. It's a nicer pillow, I'm sure that'll sell. Uh, let's see, we've got a, oh, this is a nice Oneida, so you can't see that, Oneida sweatshirt. I'll bet that'll sell. Uh, some shoes, run of the mill clothing. Last time I went through one of Lisa's boxes, I found some gross stuff though. Uh, a little birdhouse. Interesting. Looks handmade. Ooh, we got a wallet. No money. But we do have a punch card, so if I get four more haircuts, I get a free one. Uh, let's see, what is this? Not sure, raffle tickets of some sort. And eh, a couple of things here. Uh, ooh, potentially a gift card for GameStop and Family Video. So I'm going to look these up to see if they're any good. So the Family Video card was used, but the GameStop card has $5.60 on it. I don't play video games, so I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe we'll just throw it in the auction and see if we can get three, four bucks for it. All right, what's next? We've got back massager Is this Tommy Hilfiger probably not worth anything but nice Tommy vest uh, a lot of clothes let's look at the non clothes items we got a PS2 game we'll at least get a buck oh we got some paperwork throw that out what is this Bible and a whole bunch of clothes. Let me dig through this. If there's anything but clothes, I'll show you. All clothing in that one. Let's pop this one open. Looks like it's gonna be the same story. Clothing. We've got a purse empty. Another wallet empty. Uh, let's see. Is there interesting boots? Um see Sierra brand I don't think that's worth anything uh, purses clothing this is all gonna be clothing as well so I finally found the clothing in the unit seems that it's in all these boxes got another box here looks like it's gonna be mostly toys and a random boot let's see we got toys books that's all that's in here toys and books well this unit isn't as fun anymore I mean I'm still gonna make a ton of money but it's not quite as fun as it was earlier all right this one's labeled Edwin's movies so let's take a look and that is exactly what it is movies which I'm always happy about looks like there's some blu-rays in there as well Robocop trilogy 
Here we go. This might be actually worth a couple bucks. A couple of Disney movies. You know, maybe we can lot those together on eBay and make a little bit. It looks like all the way down to the bottom is movies. Uh, so this probably going to be another 75 to 100 movies here. Find a lot of movies in this unit. Is this a breakup letter on a box of movies? I'm sorry it had to end the way it did, but if it would have happened to you, I wouldn't have done me the way you did me. I think that's a breakup note on a box of movies. All right then. Here's some stuff. We've got a vintage car magazine. We've got a Mexico travel book, I guess. I don't know. Interesting. Look at the barcode. That's so cool. And then we've got a portable DVD player uh, in the box. Let's pop her open and take a look. Boy, does that look new to me. Yeah, I'm thinking this thing is new. Uh, so we'll send this to a local auction, probably get 20 bucks for it. We've also got a couple of laptops here, but they're older, not really worth messing with. We're just gonna sell them for parts. We've got yet another box of movies. There's the new Jumanji that just came out recently. Uh, we've got some Blu-rays, Assassin's Creed, The Purge. Uh, let's see, Airplane, that's a funny one. That feels empty. It's not. All right. This looks like mostly horror movies. Oh, uh, here's the scariest one of all. All right, moving on. Anything else interesting in here? Not really, mostly horror movies. A few other odds and ends. We've got a box for a Sony surround sound. It would be really nice if this was in here, but it's probably not. More movies. Man, there are a lot of movies in here. There's probably 300 movies in here. Uh, I usually pretty good at getting a dollar each. Iron Fist, Hitman. Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but it's a lot of movies. There's another Disney one. Let's say Blu-ray, DVD, and Blu-ray. So that might be worth a few bucks. So another box of movies. We've got another box here. Tanker truck. That's die cast. It's actually pretty heavy. Uh, this looks like garbage on top here. Uh, old TV guide. Science and mechanics. How old are these? 1957 and the TV guide is uh, 1988. Uh, Reader's Digest, that's, no one collects Reader's Digest. All right, is there some junk? We got more junk here. Oh, no, unfortunately it's not autographed, but it is a Dallas Cowboys photo. Uh, maybe someone will buy it. This is junk, there's an owner's manual for a bicycle. Uh, another, an Emmett Smith photo. Oh, and then we've got cards in here. Let's take a look at some of this other stuff. Some sort of game system that might be worth something. I don't think it'll be worth much. The Roadrunner. I used to love that cartoon as a kid. All right, we've got uh, stickers maybe? Hot iron transfers. And then another Elvis TV guide. Uh, an open razor. It looks new, but it's open, so we're throwing it out. The mask! Look at this, it looks like uh, off-brand Pez. Here's the front of that trailer. So we'll have right here. All right, get through all of this. We've got some little ceramic containers. What is this? Lambo Field Collector's Coin. I don't know, sometimes this type of stuff does well up here. A random little axe. Looks like it's broken. It looks like Gene Simmons' guitar. 
Alright, and then we've got lady cards here. Are they new? Nope, they're open inside. Uh, I can't tell if these are sealed packs or not. Nope, those are not sealed. Got a whole bunch of these. I don't think these have any value. Uh, some hockey cards. Uh, all open inside. So it looks like all of these are probably going to be open. More hockey cards. Some football cards. Some more football cards. Football. So a whole bunch of cards in here. And these are... They appear to all be open. Got another box here. We've got some kids artwork. Holy electronics. Whole bunch of electronics in here, but it looks like mostly junk. Some speaker wire, a seat belt of some sort. Well, let's see. This looks like it's mostly getting recycled. Yep. All junk. So we'll set that aside. We've got another box coming in here. This one is probably not good. It says to Goodwill. Let's take a look. All clothing, I presume. Yes. All clothing. Another box here. Straws. Box full of wrapped straws. We've got some paperwork, some mailbox letters. What is this? Something from a church. Looks like junk. More papers, some old photos. Uh, let's see. What is this thing? Oh, oh, almost lost it. Some sort of spice wrap. We've got a vintage pencil sharpener. That might be worth a couple bucks. A pair of gloves. It feels like there's something in here. With a pair of pliers and some sort of pliers in them. So, set those aside. This is an ashtray for a car. That took me a minute to figure out. Uh, we've got some sort of blender, food processor thing, missing parts. Another hard drive. This one is, also it doesn't say. All right, so a hard drive. This looks like a lot of junk in here. We got a little Craftsman electric screwdriver. You can't even see that. I wasn't even holding it on camera. Oh, let's see. A picture of some sort. Some lady cards. I'm not quite sure what this is. Goat milk soap, that's what it says. All right, let's get some of this garbage out of here. Here we've got what looks like a box full of toys, some Hot Wheels cars and stuff. We'll probably sell this as one lot at an auction. Now this one at first looked like just toys, but there's other stuff in there. So, let's see. Here we've got blood pressure reader. I guess. And a stethoscope, so some medical stuff. Uh, unopened pack of latches. Another safety, child safety thing. And uh, that's going in the trash because I totally missed the box and it all opened. Uh, some random decor things. A bandana. Another bandana. A mug of some sort. Uh, let's see, a little, I don't know, table napkin or something. Uh, we've got a Desert Storm flag, that'll sell. Here's some old Hot Wheels cars with the Wienermobile. Uh, no red lines, so it doesn't really look to be any spectacular value. A plastic Hershey's Kisses truck. We've got some motorcycles. Uh, more child safety things. That one made it into the box. This, what in the world is this? Some sort of battery powered glasses, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Uh, more Hot Wheels cars and, well, related cards. 
Here are some, looks like playing cards, but they're not. So I'm not quite sure what those are intended to be used for. Bag of marbles, more cars. What's in here? I have no idea what those are. We've got a big heavy duty padlock. Wouldn't it be nice if we found the key to that in here? Some lighters, these are just cheap, nothing special. What is this? More child safety things. I'm not quite sure what's in here. Some sort of dice. Not quite sure what they're for. Does it say on here? Nope. So I have no idea. Probably not worth anything though. Empty CD case. A book. Uh, let's dig a little further. We've got some motorcycles. We've got, you never know with stuff like this, there's like a coin or something in it. It is, I think this is supposed to be some sort of incense. Garbage. All right, we've got some old pictures. All right, these are family pictures. We'll set those aside for them. We've got, I don't know if this lighter's vintage or not, but it's different. Maybe we can sell it. Well, let's see, some crossword books. There's a lot of little stuff in here. Keychain, some uh, decorative keys. There's also a lot of junk in here too. A patch. Keychain of some shells. We've got Elmo. Uh, let me dig through some of this junk. You know what? There's a lot of just small stuff in here. So let me dig through this and kind of sort it out and I'll show you what's all in here. So in addition to what you just saw, we've got one, two, three, four flats full of keychains. All different types of keychains, everything that you could possibly imagine. Uh, there was also a whole bunch of button pins, a stack of patches. Uh, these were kind of neat. Lego keychains. We'll sell those separately. There were also a couple of Pepsi keychains. There was a pipe, a couple of compasses, a bunch of cheap pocket knives. Probably made five bucks for all of those. A Harley Davidson pin. Uh, this little cap gun, uh, some vintage naked lady cards, and uh, a bunch of lighters. This one's my favorite. It's a phone. It doesn't work, but and there's also a motorcycle lighter, and then just some other odds and ends. Bowling pin. Look at this one. No fuel. Uh, but all of this stuff combined should do all right. This box is exactly what it says on the side. Styrofoam cups. There are 20 sleeves of 25 each, or 25 sleeves of 20 each, I don't know. Uh, but there are 500 total, big 32 ounce cups. And this is styrofoam takeout containers, so I should be able to do pretty well on each of these. We've got another box here. This one is heavy, so it looks like it's mostly tools. Uh, this is tied in a way that is gonna make it Difficult to undo. There we go. This is, oh, this is a nice file set. Uh, nice long files. There, a couple of them are a little rusted, but not so bad. I could probably get 10 bucks for this. Let's see, we've got Hitachi. This is a cord for something. I'm not sure what little pin charger. Next, we've got this Black and Decker. It's kind of older, vintage sander. Some people like this older metal stuff. We've got a handmade miter box. No, it's not handmade. It's just a wooden miter box. Uh, staple gun. It is Craftsman, so we've got Craftsman staples that we can pair with that. Uh, hand plane. What else is in here? What is this? A level of some sort. Oh, I think this is a laser level. But it no, it just looks like it takes AA batteries. So we got a laser level here. Uh, pipe cutter, this is for, I think like PEX. I don't know, I can't figure out how it works. I'm not a tool guy, so don't look at me for answers on tools. 
Uh, then the rest of this is just random hand tools. These look like they probably came with a piece of furniture. Just all sorts of hand tools. I mean, this box alone is probably 20 bucks or so. I don't know what that is. All right, here is a bin full of plush and a, a stabbing knife. Uh, this bin full of plush, we're just gonna send to auction. There's some other plush we found here and there. I'll probably get like five bucks for it. Uh, here we've got a handmade dream catcher with some stamped leather. I don't know what this is worth. It looks like it's just made from a stick in the woods, but it is, you know, a nice dream catcher. Maybe I can get a few bucks for that. We've got some slippers, soothes and pampers feet. feet. Uh, luxury foot massage pillow. Probably get a couple of bucks for that. And now let's open this box. This one is heavy, so I know it is not just blankets. Uh, we've got a quilt. We'll set that aside. Some towels and stuff. Uh, let's get all this out. So this is all just papers. We can throw all this in the trash. And here we've got a Jim Morrison scrapbook. Let's, let's take a look at this. Some of these pages are marked for some reason. Interesting. So I feel like this is probably worth a couple bucks. Um, as well as we'll throw this magazine in with it. There was some other Jim Morrison stuff I found earlier. Here's a book. So we'll, we can make a Jim Morrison lot and send it to the auction. So we'll set that stuff aside. Uh, let's see, more papers. This is instructions for things. Oh, I hope that's in the unit somewhere. I'm gonna set these aside just in case it is in the unit somewhere. The other papers. They're just going to throw away. All right, we've got more towels. Oh, that's caught tangled on there. An eagle picture. Probably not worth anything, but we'll set it aside for now. Here's another. Well, there that was an eagle picture. The frame is not attached. Set that aside. This is, ooh, this is jewelry. So I'll look through this and see if there's any precious metals. There might be some silver right there. And we'll see if there's any value in that. All right, we've got a couple of binders here that is just personal papers. Uh, family picture, we'll set that with the family pictures that we're saving. We've got an antler mounted. Weird, they just put a couple of screws through it. It looks like there might be another one in here as well. So that's a set, we'll probably get 10 bucks for this set here. Set those aside. All right, we've got something wrapped up here. Another eagle picture. The towel caught on it. Oh, more papers. And the rest of this looks like books. So, oh, what is this? Hold on. Let's open this up. Uh, someone. Had a crush on this actress, I guess. Uh, no value here. So we're gonna toss that. Uh, not till the fat lady sings. So not until Jameson's mom sings sports book. Um, we'll probably just stack all these books together here. Uh, a lot of this Kevin Trudeau. I don't know who that guy is. Uh, Natural Cures, so some healing related thing. You got a bunch of newspapers we'll throw out here. Uh, what's in this box? Um, nothing really all that special. A couple of medals, 10 and under tennis, uh, some graduation related medal, and a picture. So we'll set these aside, get them back to the, to the owner. Here we've got some junk. And what is this? Looks like Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Uh, I'm not even on camera here. So some Chuck E. Cheese tokens. And there goes one of them. And a chain that does not appear to be gold or anything. Oh, and in the Chuck E. Cheese container. All right, we've got vintage Native American picture. 
uh, and an empty frame. It says love on it. What else is in here? More books. Oh, look at this relic of times past. A phone book. Let me throw that away. Uh, here it is. Looks like a textbook, maybe. So let's see if this is, I don't have my other phone on me, so I can't see if this is worth anything, but if it is, I will let you know. And then the rest of this looks like it's just books and papers. So I will let you know if I find anything interesting in here. Uh, otherwise, it's all just gonna be tossed. So there was a decent lot of Packers stuff in here. We've got this 1997-98 calendar. We've got a local newspaper here. Looks like there might be a couple editions for the Super Bowl. Let's take a look in here. In addition to that one, we've also got World Champs and Super. So we got three local newspapers here from when we won the Super Bowl. We've also got the 96 and 97 team photos. And this is uh, on what, a Danica Patrick sign. So that will be, um, that'll go nice with the Danica Patrick clock and autograph we found. All that was in there were these sterling earrings. They do have some weight, they are sterling, so probably get about five bucks for those. I wanna show you this though, this was in a jewelry lot, a lot of jewelry stuff in the last video, uh, also out of this unit. It's a watch, uh, th one of these is marked sterling right there, marked sterling. So these two plates are sterling with turquoise stones. This will probably sell for about 10 bucks. I also found this in a watch box. Uh, it was hiding under the watch. I'm covering up the uh, the naked part. There's a naked lady on that side and a naked lady on this side, but it says it's one ounce, 999 silver. So this is about $15 or so in value, but we're gonna send it to a local auction. Maybe someone will pay a lot more because he wants to see the tables. We've got a garbage can here. It is heavy and it does not look like garbage. So let's see what we've got in here. Let's start with this. Whole bunch of magazines, uh, including, uh, that's an adult magazine, a couple of them actually. Uh, so we'll toss those. We've got uh, more magazines. We've got a owner's manual for 2002 Dodge Intrepid. Sometimes these are worth putting on eBay. Uh, don't expect to get much and don't expect them to sell quick. Then we've got some more magazines and stuff. We'll toss those. We've got Food Remedies, a book. We'll throw that in with the books. A couple more books here. A towel. All right. Got another book here. Little Cloud. I wonder if that's signed by the author. It doesn't look like it. We're just going to sell it with the books. Um... There's something wrapped up in here. Marbles. It's a whole bunch of marbles. So we'll sell those. There's some kind of loose in here as well. So we're just going to set that aside so they don't spill everywhere. Here we've got, ooh, vintage lighter. And another vintage lighter. Uh, Datsun. I think that's an old car brand. Uh, and then some regular run-of-the-mill lighters and an electronic cigarette. Next, we've got just some tissue paper. Uh, this feels like sports cards. They are all like the same. Hockey cards. This might be like a full set or something. Probably five bucks in the auction. More mar- well, these are more like glass beads. Uh, let's see. More of these decorative glass beads. This is, uh, I don't know, junk. Hockey cards. I'm gonna figure out how to open this. So that probably is a full set. Uh, Venn Park Sports, just says sports cards. Um, oh, oh, hold on. This one even says which cards are missing. So this is not a full set, but it's darn close. Oh, uh, what are these? Looks like a couple of decks of just, whoa, that is not attached. Okay. Playing cards, not really worth anything special. Uh, we will toss these in the dollar sale. More of these bikini cards. 
Uh, this is a box of bikini cards. This one says 1994 football. So we're assuming that's probably what's in here. Yep, football cards. Here, this one feels empty. What in the world is that? Empty box. This is, I'm assuming that's the medicine, maybe. I don't know what that medicine looks like, so we're just gonna assume that's what it is and throw that out. Oh, we got another one here. I, I don't know. Is this that medicine or is this something else? I don't know what these are supposed to look like. Um, either way, we're just going to toss them because I don't think they're worth anything regardless. And then this is a factory sealed pack. 1991 hockey set. So this may be worth a little bit more. Uh, we'll probably still send it to auction though. And then lastly... More of these decorative glass beads. All right, another box here. Looks to be clothing. Here's a blanket. Uh, steering wheel cover. We'll just throw that with the clothing. A big heavy duty jacket. Nothing special though. Oh, we got some snow boots. More snow boots. Uh, this one looks like it's going to be all clothing. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be all clothing and clothing related items. Oh, there we go. A set of cowboy boots. Uh, the brand is Madden Girl, so I'm going to go on a hunch and say these aren't worth anything. Um, it's all clothes. So this box is incredibly heavy. Let's see what's in it. All right, we've got a newspaper, garbage. Manual for phone, garbage. We got some linens, toss those aside. Not really worth anything. All right, first up, we've got a repair manual. These sell decent on eBay. Uh, we've got Native American Way. Let's quick look this book up. Uh, I don't expect it to be worth much, but you never know. Uh, it is, ooh, $8.14 after fees, so we'll sell that. Uh, we've got a plate, a dirty plate. We're just going to throw that away. What is wrapped up in here? A, a piece of glass. Wonderful. Garbage. Uh, what is this? A scrapbook of some sort. All right, we'll set that aside with the photos. This is bottom half of a butter dish. And I'm gonna go to hunch and say this is the top half of that butter dish. All right, so we've got a butter dish. Uh, this might be worth a couple of bucks. A big boy, what is it, a piggy bank? Eh, can't get it open, but there's nothing in it. So that'll probably be worth a couple of bucks. We got a tin, feels empty, and it is in fact empty. We've got another A and W glass with a beanie baby. We'll put this with the plush. Another one of these. Bandana. Oh, where is the plush? Right there. Uh, more plush. We'll toss those aside. This is a set of headphones. Probably a set of Sony headphones. Still probably not worth anything. Here we've got an empty sleeve for a phone. Another bandana. Uh, this one. What is this? Jack Link's Extreme. Alright, this is interesting. Dracula bobblehead. I don't see any branding anywhere on it. Uh, but I bet someone buys that. Uh, let's see, 20Q. This game, believe it or not, is worth like 10 bucks on eBay, so we'll set that aside. Uh, these are just empty Easter eggs. Toss those, I totally missed the garbage can there. All right, here are just magnets. Nothing special at all. 
a fridge worth of magnets. This is interesting. It's like a checkers board, but double the length. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Here we've got a candle and a stress ball. If you have Boost Mobile, you definitely need a stress ball. Oh, another candle. This is probably a candle. Open it up here, and there it goes. And yes, it's a candle. Uh, what do we have here now? Uh, well, that, that shouldn't be on video. So we get some more adult magazines. Michigan Speedway program. So some programs for NASCAR races. Those might be sellable. Set those aside. We've got... Um, judging by the way these are shipped, personal, and it's, these are probably adult magazines. Um, yeah. But there is a camel ad. They haven't had cigarette ads in a while. So I'm going to pop one of these open and see how old... Oh, right there. 2001, so not terribly old, uh, but nonetheless, garbage. If they were older, maybe they'd be worth something. Uh, Winds of Change National Conference, garbage. Uh, another Native American book. Let's look this one up. This one is not really worth anything. So we'll put that on with the books. Some rent, whoop, whoop, there goes that. Some junk. Next, we've got birthday card, picture frame, more junk. Another stack of magazines. I'm gonna be careful looking through them because there are lady magazines along with the regular magazines. Uh, child's artwork. We will set that aside. Uh, this looks like junk. Car magazine, not really worth anything. Toss that. So this box isn't turning out to be too exciting. We got another book. This is a journal of some sort. Uh, it's in really rough shape though, so we're just going to throw it out. So I just picked up this book and underneath it I just realized there's a penthouse and I don't want that on the video since this is a family friendly channel. But this is an Oneida Nation, uh, the Native American tribe book. Almost looks like a dictionary. Uh, so this I'm going to set aside and look at it. Uh, there is, that's for a smoke shop so that receipt doesn't matter. Uh, so this might be worth some money. We're going to set it aside to look up. The rest of that box was a stack of vintage 1990s penthouse and playboy magazines. These might sell in the auction, they're in decent shape. Notice I'm using the Bible to cover up the dirty pictures so you don't see that in this family friendly channel. And then the penthouse. Uh, so maybe we can get 10, 15 bucks for these. We've got a little box here, random hand tools. This is a shaver. Uh, sometimes these sell well on eBay. There's something else in there. That might just be the charger, but let's find out. Yeah, just the charger for it. And... Uh, can you see what's in there? Because I sure can't. A little brush. So we've got a shaver here. Sometimes these actually sell decently on eBay. Uh, there's the cover for it. A uh, little sewing kit. A little keychain pistol. Uh, that looks like some more keychains and whatnot. That's a nicer one, but not really worth anything. Uh, we've got a putty knife, a larger one. Uh, the book for phone, we can throw that in the trash. A pill divider, we'll throw that out. We have here an off-brand MP3 player, not really worth anything. Uh, an old phone, not really worth anything. A couple of tapes, not really worth anything. This, I already looked at it, I've been playing with it, and I am totally gonna hurt myself. Ow, and yep, right there, totally hurt myself. There we go. Yep, definitely scratched my finger there. That was not pleasant. So we've got a switchblade that I just on camera cut myself with. 
That's what I'm going to bring to the garage sales if they don't work with me on price. All right. We've got a little tank. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Uh, but a little tank nonetheless. Uh, a little toy gun of some sort. Cap gun, maybe. I'm guessing it's a cap gun. Uh, we got another little toy gun. And another one. This one's a keychain gun. And I feel like that's supposed to open, but it's all corroded. That's garbage. I missed the garbage on that. Uh, a little cannon keychain. And then a bunch of cards here. Uh, these, they look older, but not terribly old. These are from like 1989-1990. So we've got a really heavy box here. It looks like it's mostly tools. First we've got some staples. Uh, we've got some collector's plates. Probably not worth anything. There's not even any branding, but we'll give them a shot in the auction. This is an interesting. I think this is like for hand planing. It's got a handle on either side. I would imagine you would hold it like this and pull it along the wood or something. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a tool guy. All right, we've got a chisel set. It looks with the plastic like it's new, but there is some surface rust. My guess is it's new, but it was in a humid environment. Uh, oh, we got another knife here. Native American style knife. Uh, I don't see a lid to the box, but we'll just set that aside here. Oh, this, is, this is a fancy knife. It's got a fork on it and a spoon. This thing looks pretty old. I think this is... I don't know what that is. It, doesn't, it looks like it could be wood, but might also not. Either way, this is an old knife. That might be worth some money there. Uh, we have here old man glasses. Throw those away. A couple of caulk guns. We've got a coping saw, a multimeter. I've actually, uh, one of my employees uh, repairs electronics for me. He could probably use that. I might just give it to him. Uh, we've got, is this unopened? This is, in fact, unopened. Uh, what is this? Dry time indicator, spackling, and nail hole filler. We've got a three hole punch, my favorite tool in the box. This is a Forstner bit set. Uh, also looks like it might be unused. We got a rafter square, one of these things. I don't know what that's called. All right, bunch of random cable. Oh, wait, this is, hold on. This is for a Nintendo Wii. So in the last video, I found a battery cover for a Wii remote control. So I still think there might be a Nintendo Wii in this unit somewhere. Uh, Dell power cord. That might go to one of the old laptops we have. This one is an HP. This is for a printer. That is for a printer. All right, and then we got a bunch of mail, it looks like. Let's dig in here a little bit more. This is Delta. I'm not sure what this goes to. Regular type cord. Drop that. All right, this actually, I know exactly what this is. It goes on the bottom of this to catch all of the little hole punches. All right, I think I got it. We got another hole punch. See, this one has the rubber on the bottom. All right, we've got, what is this, extension cord? Probably a brand new extension cord. And a bunch of mail, so I'm gonna dig through this mail. We'll see if there's anything under it. All right, just dug down the bottom. This whole box is mail, so we're just throwing this whole box in the trash. All right, another box. I hate car audio because it never seems to sell well for me. This is Orion, a subwoofer in pretty rough shape. We'll set that down here. We've got, ooh, a Sony subwoofer. Looks to be in much better shape, but I don't expect much for it. Oh, what else? Oh, here we go, a Dremel. Uh, this thing will probably get 20 bucks or so. We got some fancy boxes under these CDs. Uh, this, never mind, these are CD boxes. Probably gonna be CDs in here. Yep, country number one hits. Junk, a uh, little transformer star, and a magnetic dart set with the darts. So, going through this box, I found this bag of foreign coins, and in it, I found this one, a 1937 Australian crown. It is made of sterling silver. This denomination only existed for two years, 1937 and 38. 
Uh, based on the condition and everything, it's about a 25 to $30 coin. So that's not too bad. And beyond that, there isn't much else in here. A bunch of random foreign coins. Uh, we're just gonna sell in one lot in the auction. So we've got this gross looking rust bucket oil drum here. Uh, there's actually good stuff in it. I opened it up to see how gross it was inside and it's actually got decent stuff. So let's dig through it. No, I have not actually dug through it. I just opened it up to see if there's anything good in. So let's start with this. We've got a top. I don't think I can do this on my hand. Uh, well, it's a top. It is uh, vintage maybe, maybe not. I can't quite tell. Uh, so we've got a top. We've got another knife here. There are seriously a ton of knives in here. This has got a fancy eagle on the blade. So that'd probably be worth about 10 bucks or so. We've got, oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna hurt myself, so that's it. All right, we've got another stabbing knife. We've got another one. This is Gerber 850. Uh, made in USA, so it's probably a decent value here. Uh, we've got, hey, it's uh, another one of these The Mask off-brand pest dispensers. Put that with the other one. What is this? This looks like random pieces to a desk. Probably gonna be garbage, but I'll set them aside in case we find a desk. Uh, I got a beanie. We've got a sock, and in that sock is a vintage Pepsi bottle. Or, yeah, that looks vintage. All right, set that down here. Oh, 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 here's another one. This one's not in the nicest of shape, but it exists. Let's see here, we've got uh, one of those neckties with a fake buffalo nickel. A whole bunch of random car pieces. I don't know what the deal is with those. We've got another knife, Kessler Whiskey. Or as I'm told, it's whiskey flavored vodka. Uh, what is this thing? Is it, oh, flints for Zippos. All right. I got some bells. I'm gonna throw those away. Uh, American flag. Let me set this down here. It's all tangled up. But this is an American flag welcome sign. Aha, got, no, no, still don't. Oh, in the, what in? Well, it, it, it's an American flag welcome sign. Let, let's just go with that. Uh, we've got Yoda. Uh, and I'm not quite sure what this is. We're just going to throw that out. We'll throw all of these things out. Next, we've got wheels from something. More wheels. This is... Uh, more wheels and a heart. I'm not going to show what it says on the heart. Unless I accidentally did. Uh, here's another more vintage pocket knife. Coast, cost, something like that. And, ooh, a Swiss Army knife, a little tiny one. Oh, we've got part of a truck. Uh, an empty popcorn tin. Some plastic silverware. Here's another knife. Uh, not a fancy one, looks like a free promotional item you would have got with something. What is this? Oh, it's got a light on it. There we go. That's different. All right, we've got another knife. Brand new in the package. Uh, some sort of leash, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, here's a John Deere truck. What is in here? Eee, that is creepy. Yeah, no thanks. That is going to go back, back in there. 
see a receipt or something. No, no. That is gonna stay right in that bag. All right, another wheel from something. There we go. We get a vase full of things. I'm losing stuff. This looks like it's part of that car that's half taken apart. Honestly, I think this is like a taken apart remote control car or something. Let me dump this stuff right in here. Yeah, that's all parts of that. And then a milk vase. Milk glass vase, whatever you want to call it. All right, we've got some sort of tray, wooden tray. Another wheel. A whole bunch of bags, I guess. I'm not sure. I'll just throw those out. This is... I'm not quite sure. Whatever it is, it's sealed. I'm thinking it's a, a food item that was used as crafts here. Oh, it's all glued on. I don't know. Garbage. All right, we've got... Looks like a little key hook. Brand new. <clears throat> oh! Oh, I don't think it works. This is supposed to be one giant match lighter. But it looks like it's busted. All right, we've got a book. And I think this is a Spanish Bible. Maybe not. Oh, I think one side's Spanish, the other side's English. It might actually be worth a, worth a few bucks on eBay. Uh, what is this? Eddie Bauer Automatic Cedar. I have no idea. It's for something. All right, we got another pocket knife here. I'm being very careful digging through here because I've been finding knives, including one right here. The stabbing knife was in here with no sheath. Uh, well, speak of the devil, here's another stabbing knife. No sheath. This looks like an old one. I don't see any markings on it, but this looks very old. All right, we've got... This is just junk mail. A stained glass tray, and then some... An aluminum tray, a ceramic tray, and a frisbee tray. It's sticky frisbee. All right, moving on. A couple of kids' books. We'll put those with the books. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Tailgater. Oh, this is like flag football. Flag for flag football. Uh, looks like there might be a... Oh, we might have a whole set in here. Yeah. Here. And that just totally went down. We've got a whole flag football set here. So that'll probably sell for a few bucks. I would assume at least $5. I think this is part of it. We've got a mitten, and uh, I'm not quite sure what this is. Some sort of strap for something. Uh, some sort of scarf. We'll put that with the clothing. There are, I don't know if you can see that, right there. I'm gonna go get some gloves. So, got that grossness thrown away and there was several other really gross items in there, uh, if you know what I mean. And uh, those all got thrown away. There was nothing else of value in the bottom. Of it. There were a couple of things that would make sense for the dollar sale. I don't wanna touch them, so I just dumped it all in the trash. Uh, and that is it for that bin. Here's the part where everyone comments below, you should be wearing gloves. Listen, I can wash my hands if I need to, and trust me, I wash them with acid. Yeah, so that is it for that. It's one of my least favorite parts about this job. That, the dead mice, uh, all the bugs, and the food that people always seem to want to store for some reason that has gone rancid. Those are the worst things about this job. But of course, all the cool stabbing things and nunchucks and silver coins, that's the fun part. So that's why I keep doing it. So anyways, let's move on to the next box. All right, starting to get close to the end. We've got another box here. It's pretty heavy. Uh, we've got some trash. Pause that. We've got a Native American 
carved piece of wood. Someone might buy that for a few bucks. Let's see. Junk. Huh. <laughs> a Bill Clinton bottle opener and a Hillary Clinton nutcracker. All right, so we've got some junk. A whole bunch of junk here. Just paperwork and stuff. All right, now we're down to the good stuff. This is just an empty bag, never mind on that good stuff. And a block of wood. Okay. We've got uh, some sort of pipe thread sealant. Garbage. All right, what is in here? We've got some screws. We've got, this is like wedged in here, some random wire, uh, a cut cable, alright, this is not looking so good, uh, that's junk, this is, what is this, some, some sort, oh there it is, a padlock, uh, not a very good, oh the key's broken off inside, and some, oh there's, probably the key for it inside of there and some hardware world's greatest dad all right uh, this is some sort of hair trimmer trauma survivors book and then the rest of this looks like CDs so maybe not as good of a box as I thought uh, the discs are in here so we'll send all these to declutter get a few bucks for them here We've got just a box of random toys, some large cars and whatnot. We'll get a few bucks for this box. Here's another box. It looks like blankets, but we've had a lot where there were blankets on top and then other stuff underneath it. So we'll just dig this stuff out. And what do you know, other stuff underneath. All right, so we've got Spanish English dictionary, not worth anything. We'll toss that with the books. Uh, let's see. It looks like it's just a couple of jewelry boxes here. Oh, Dolce. Empty. Uh, what do we have here? A headband of some sort. And there's stuff in there. We've got a little mini Washington Redskins mug. A little mini Washington Redskins helmet. Fingernail clippers, that's garbage. And, let's see, a little bit of jewelry. Uh, looks like a Harley Davidson necklace. That should sell for a few bucks. Uh, we've got a ring that's tangled around in, and it does not look like it's marked at all. And then this little bracelet. Got another box here. It looks like it's filled with electronics. Oh, here's the power supply for the Xbox 360 we found earlier. I don't remember if that was this video or the last one. Oh, we've got an old phone. Is this a uh, cracked screen, but it's because it's a Sanyo, not a Nokia. All right, what else do we have? This uh, battery charger. Probably get a couple bucks for that. Uh, Off-brand PS2 controller. So, uh, there's that. Those aren't worth much. Uh, we've got a power supply for Ion 150. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we'll just set it aside for now. We've got... Oh, this is the power supply for the modem that's worth about 30 bucks on eBay. So that saves me the cost of ordering a power supply. Uh, let's see. A Dell. And... A compact power supply, probably for those crappy laptops. Set those aside to go with the laptops. We've got a little pocket knife, James River Corporation. Another extension cord, a couple of shelf brackets. And is the rest just clothing? I believe so. Clothing box. Almost forgot to show you this. It is a cheerleader porcelain doll for the Oakland Raiders. So this stack of books was sitting on the floor in the unit. It's the Bible Story, the 1994 edition, 10 volume set. There's a little bit of writing in it, but overall it's in good condition. Um, 
It's going for about 50 bucks on eBay for the full set. And it looks like it's selling pretty well. So we're going to list this. Next is this Ford toolbox. It does not look like Ford stickers. It looks like this is a Ford toolbox. We'll pop it open and see what's inside. In the top, we've got some basic hand tools. Some napkins that can get thrown out. Uh, but, you know, nothing too special. These aren't too bad to have around. Some basic hand, what is this? Oh, little screwdriver. Uh, and here we have first aid stuff. Okay. And lunch stuff. All right. And more first aid. Napkins, straws, and wet wipes. All right then. Well, the toolbox is probably worth a good 20 bucks. We've got a headboard and footboard here. Uh, pretty rough shape. Wait, there's a whole bunch of other bed parts here. These uh, don't seem to be a complete bed. Actually, these two might go to the headboard and footboard. Uh, but I would imagine the other parts are in the other unit. So this box is a whole bunch of stuff that was on the floor that I just tossed in a box. We've got an empty box of this Milwaukee radio. I'm going to hold on to this in case we find the radio in the other unit. Next, we've got another vintage Pepsi clock. This one's a little bit older than the other. I think I could probably get $30 to $50 for it. We've got, you know, I don't know what these are, but there's a whole bunch of them for some piece of furniture. I'm going to set them aside in case we do find that piece of furniture. Oh, we've got some trash, more trash coaxial cable. Toss all of that. More trash. There's, there's going to be a lot of trash in these boxes because this is all the stuff that was just kind of laying on the floor. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is. We're just going to throw it out. We got some old hardware here. A whole bunch of these. Uh, not really any value, I don't think, because it's pretty common. Uh, but maybe we can sell them as a lot for a buck. Oh, what do we have here? This is hardware for something. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna set it aside in case we find it in the other unit. This, I, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Uh, so again, we'll set it aside. We've got some drawer slides. These are gonna be trash. Oh, we've got a little uh, power strip for outside. There's no timer on it or anything. Uh, but it's probably worth a couple bucks. And uh, more trash. So throw all that away. There's a lot of trash in this box. It's a lid for something. I'm going to set it aside because we might have the box in here somewhere. Um, you know what? I think I figured out what that thing is for. I think this is some sort of light fixture. Um, it's in pieces. It's dated. We're just going to throw it away. So I'm going to dig through the rest of this box. It looks like it's mostly trash. I'll let you know if I find anything good. All right. So this stuff... Um, I think all goes together. This says Crime Stopper. Not quite sure what it is. I think this is part of it. I think it's some sort of alarm. There are two key fobs with it, and they feel pretty high quality. Uh, lock, unlock, trunk, and alarm. Um, I don't know if that's all the pieces or not, but we'll sell that. Here we've got 35 millimeter camera. Should give me about 20 bucks on eBay. Uh, some dollar sale stuff, a maraca, a black light bulb, a sanding block. Uh, I held onto these wheels because I don't know if I'm gonna need them for something, uh, but I'll probably just throw them away if the item they go to isn't there. Uh, we've got this uh, vintage looking lamp, well, two of these for some reason. Um, I'm not sure this has any value, but you never know. This was neat. I've never seen one of these before. It's a little Sony portable radio. It is Sony and it's clear. Uh, the clear ones are usually used in jails so they can see if an inmate's hiding stuff. And there goes that. Found it. So these are used to see if an inmate's hiding stuff in it. Uh, I looked it up on eBay It'd be just because it is Sony brand. It's selling for about 30 to 50 bucks. So uh, that's a good find. Uh, and then beyond that, just the stuff you saw. I found some more of these cabinet door handles. Uh, I found this little hanging thing. You know what? I don't know if these are meant to go together because one looks, no, they don't fit. Uh, but anyways, this little hanging thing, you could probably get a buck for in the Dallas sale. Nothing too spectacular. Next box, we've got this popcorn maker, probably worth about 10 bucks. It's just plastic, but it's kind of neat. 
We've got, oh, more trains. So here, we have this one. Uh, Tyco is the brand. It's got a price tag on 12 bucks. And then we've got this guy. Uh, the $12 may extend to that as well. Uh, so we've got some trains here. We've got a starting lineup figure here, who is this Emmett Smith. So that's probably worth about five or 10 bucks. Uh, there's a whole bunch of these curtain rods, we're just gonna throw them away. And that didn't even make it in the garbage. We've got a DVD writer, uh, HP. We're just gonna throw that in a local auction because testing it isn't gonna be fun. Some washers, a block of wood, and this, I think, is part of that gym in the other unit. All right, we've got a crate full of 45s and some 8-track tapes, mostly copies, a couple of originals here. Uh, and then these blocks of wood we're just going to throw out. Uh, so I could probably get 10 bucks for this. The 45s don't look to be in that great of shape. We've got this box. There's some neat stuff in here. This is just paperwork. We'll throw that away. Uh, we've got a dog, Scooby-Doo. Both of those will go in the dollar sale. Bunch of hardware or something. Uh, let's see. This intrigues me. Looney Tunes. What is it? It's a mug. A Looney Tunes mug. It'll probably go for three or four bucks in the box. It looks vintage. Uh, let's see, what is in here? This box is all hardware for stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like anything spectacular. Hopefully that's not what's in all these boxes. This box is all sports cards. Uh, is there anything underneath it? No, it looks like the entirety is sports cards. Uh, almost looks like there's some certified ones in here. This one has a price tag of $15 on it, so that's worth looking up. Uh, what else do we have here? Michael Jordan. Uh, this, this is two cards stuck together. Uh, who is that? Shaq? I'm guessing it says Shaq Talk on the top. I'm not a basketball fan, so I don't know. Uh, just a whole bunch of cards. That one looks pretty old. How old is this one? Uh, I don't see a date on it. Uh, but the dates about his playing is the 40s and 50s. So we've got, we might have some decent cards in here. Uh, a couple of packs of cards. There might be some decent ones in this box, so I'm going to go through them. But this one, this first one that I showed you, really intrigues me with a $15 price tag on it. Uh, we'll look that up. Now that doesn't mean it's worth $15, it just means it's worth looking up. A uh, pair of glasses, garbage. What is in here? Oh, we got a ring. Let me take a look at this ring and I'll show you. Let's see if it's marked at all. Uh, it does not appear to be marked. I don't have my loop with me though. There is a marking. No, nope, that's 10 karat gold. 10 karat gold ring with something on it. That almost looks like it's just glued on. Uh, but 10 karat gold, probably about $40 just in gold. We'll set that aside. These, good for a dollar off any purchase. Uh, record rack in Escanaba, Michigan. Uh, whether or not they're still available, I'm not sure. A uh, free two liter of pop. Uh, so a whole bunch of these. Redeemed for prizes, that doesn't say what it is. Uh, just old tokens. I don't know if this place still exists, if you can actually use these, but I mean, there's quite a stack of them there. Uh, let's pull this other stuff out. Uh, uh, some sort of token, a key for something. Looks like some junk and a foreign coin. Moving on, we've got... What is this? I'm not quite sure. Glasses. Uh, nothing special. We've got more glasses. If you find really old glasses, they can have value. Sometimes they're made of gold. Here we've got a poster for something at one of the casinos. Junk. This, I'm gonna, well it says JVC on it. So we can figure out how to open this thing. Right, I'm gonna open it later. Uh, a couple of metal rods, probably junk. This box here. What in the 
world is this stuff? We've got Men in Black Dog, some Care Bears, a little table. This looks like just knickknacks and stuff. Nothing of special value, probably all going in the dollar sale. Uh, and some mugs. Um, that looks like, what, a giant buffalo or something? Learning Tree Mug. And we've got this one, Native American figure, and another Native American. So three mugs. And there's a price of eight bucks on them. I don't think they're worth that, but I mean, I can get five bucks for the set. All right, I figured this out. It is the front face for a radio. Sometimes you can get like 10, 15 bucks for these on eBay. So we'll look it up and uh, decide if it's worth selling. Next, we got Dallas Cowboys Crock-Pot. This thing is brand new. It's still got the factory tape on it. Uh, it's going for about $32 plus free shipping on eBay. It's going to cost like 15 bucks to ship, so it's really not worth me putting on eBay. I'm going to send it to a local auction and see what we get for it. Next, we've got a box full of medical stuff, gauze and bandages. Um, so we can sell all this. We'll send it into a local auction. It goes one big lot, and uh, we'll see what we get for it. This box, you get a mop head. It's new, so I'll probably keep that. I could use that around here. Basketball, looks like a decent one, so we could probably sell that in the dollar sale. Uh, a simple guide for a grill. I didn't see a grill in the other unit, but we'll hold on to it just in case. This is, looks like a pet carrier. Uh, so we could probably get three or four dollars for that. Here we've got an organizer of some sort. Oh, it looks like it's basically empty. Uh, tweezers in there, but you can organize a lot of little things in here. Uh, this might be worth a few bucks. So we'll set that aside. We've got a generic wine bottle, probably used for craft. We're gonna throw that out. We've got a metal dustpan full of stuff. Here's a whole bunch of drill bits here. And beyond that, just some hardware, uh, some screws, uh, football display, or a sports display, I should say. Uh, here we've got an erector set. Is there a date on here? I don't know. Super Bowl numbers, or Roman numerals, as most people call them. But MCMLXXXI. That'll give you an idea of the date. It does have the styrofoam in it. Wait a minute. There's a whole bunch of golf tees in here. So it's part of an erector set. It doesn't look like it's going to complete that far. Uh, but miscellaneous erector set pieces. And there goes a piece. Uh, so we'll set that aside. It's not going to be worth much alone. But we could probably pair it with this one in the steel box. Uh, let's see what's all in here. A whole bunch of parts. It's got the motor and everything. It might be complete. I'm not sure. Uh, I think we could probably get 20 bucks for the two combined. Next, we've got what used to be a socket set. It kind of spilled out in here. Uh, but decent sized set of sockets here. There is a wrench. You probably get 10 bucks for that. And then this thing, it's a coin on a stand. Uh, Nevermore, Ever Edgar Allan Poe. I have no idea what that's worth. Probably five or ten bucks. All right, we've got a box full of some bigger stuff. We've got stuffed animal. Uh, we've got a watering can here. Probably get a couple bucks for that. Some bed risers. Those always sell for about three to five dollars. Uh, a rack of some sort. We'll toss that in the dollar sale. We've got a brand new set of blinds. Uh, I can't imagine these go for much new, but I mean, they'll sell. More of these junk curtain rods we're just gonna throw out. Here, we've got a duffel bag. It feels empty, but we'll double check. Oh, some of the strongest Velcro ever. All right, yep, this is empty. And the rest of this looks like junk. We've got a little desk lamp here that clips on. We've got, I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, let me get you here. Um, it looks almost like a guitar stand, but it's way too small to be a guitar. So I'm not quite sure what's supposed to be leaning on here. And then lastly, we got this little Louisville Slugger bat. Here we've got a saw blade, seen better days. A little canister, a 
which doesn't want to open for me. Well, it feels empty anyways. A thermos. Well, it's wrapped up in here. It's like a winter scene. And then a whole bunch of CDs and a steak knife. All right, in this box we've got a crappy basketball. We've got a Memorex boom box here. Uh, might be worth three or four dollars if it works. Uh, we've got just power cable, that's junk. We've got, I don't want to touch this, but we will sell it. We got a bird's hand. Uh, it looks like it's dried. I don't know how clean it is though, so we're gonna sell it, but I don't want to touch it. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, crappy dustpan. Uh, a empty bag. It's like a gift bag. Junk. Uh, we got a doorknob. It's tough to say if it's new. No, it does not look new. Uh, but someone might still buy it for a buck. A uh, little candle holder. Socks. Junk. We've got some sandpaper. Put that with the tools. A uh, clipboard. Two clipboards, actually. Put those in the dollar sale. A uh, power supply for something, it doesn't say, so we're gonna junk it. And then a whole bunch of books and magazines. I don't think any of it's gonna have any special value. All right, in this box, this is an important piece of a bed set that's in the other unit, so it's a good thing I bought both units. Here we've got a bag with a hockey glove, an autographed hockey glove, we're gonna have to look at that to see who that is. See if that has any value. And an autographed hockey puck. So those could have some value. Uh, we'll take a look at them later. Uh, we've got a plumbing book, not really worth a lot. Some drafting stencils, not really worth a lot. A new thing of clothespins. Probably get a buck or two out of that. What is this? Uh, something about a bicycle. Oh, this is a kickstand. Bike kickstand, brand new. Uh, we got a little calendar, a little die-cast car. The calendar's junk. What's in this bag? Looks like a whole bunch of junk. Uh, this is a controller for something. Uh, channel products. So we'll look this up to see if this has any special value. Uh, let's see, we've got some cords, which, that's a button, so maybe that goes with it. Uh, here's some Weber grill parts, junk. What else do we have in here? Some tape uh, for plumbing. We've got some keychains, miscellaneous keychains. We've got, I'm not quite sure what this is. Unscrews. Not entirely. I don't know what this is. We're just gonna call it junk. Uh, what do we have here? Temperature for a grill. Uh, another thermostat for a grill, and some junk. So we'll throw. Oops. Throw that out. Got a little baseball bat for a kid in pretty rough shape. Let's see, some wrapping paper, also pretty rough shape. We're just gonna throw that away. Here's another bag with some vintage Coke tins. They don't look terribly old. They look more like uh, reproductions. But either way, I could probably get two bucks a piece. Uh, we've got some sort of catalog, junk whole bunch of these this plastic there's a bunch of garbage on top of here so let me get that out of the way all right remaining in here we got oh it's heavy we've got this little toolbox drill bits i'll probably get five to ten dollars for that we've got an extension cord and a couple of speakers if these work these are a good 10 bucks on ebay uh, we got some trash we got a little hanging shelf fixture here and the rest is junk besides this fluorescent light next we got this box 
in pretty rough shape. What is in it? Bug guard portable chair, it says. So some sort of folding chair. It's a UPC. Let's look it up so we can get a picture of it. Couldn't find a picture, but we've got this nice cabinet here. It looks almost handmade. There's stuff in it. All right, in this drawer, we've got a whole bunch of die-cast cars. Uh, looks like a bunch of NASCAR ones as well. This one is a NASCAR. That's just a Corvette. These four are also NASCAR. And we've got these three uh, just regular die-cast cars and a really long drill bit. I don't know if this has any special value, but we'll sell it. And in the bottom drawer, we've got, looks like a couple of model kits. Two buildings, model buildings. And what is this? This is a railroad magazine. Probably not worth anything, but uh, you never know. And then a whole bunch of these little like Matchbox cars. They're a little older, but they're nothing special. Uh, there's a few more of them in there. All right, we've got a couple of buckets here that look like primarily tools. We got a vintage drill. Might get a few bucks for that. Crowbar, and then these mostly junk. Might get a couple bucks for this laptop cooling pad, uh, but these books are junk, so we'll toss those. Next, we've got this. Let's get these extra lids out of the way garbage can full of stuff we got a little wooden chair and the rest of this uh, some hangers and some Halloween and Independence Day decor so let's get that out of the way we've got a creeper here for working under a car it's probably worth about five or ten bucks I honestly have no idea what these go for uh, and here we've got another one of those bird feet under the rope uh, and then some rope and then all of these, some are full, some are empty. These are all uh, drawers for like screws and nuts and bolts and other type of hardware. Um, these were all just stacked up on the floor, so I threw them in a bin. We've also got over here a couple of snow shovels, a rake, a broom. Now we get this box. This is not worth anything, but there's a little bit of change in, in here. So we'll dig that out in about 50 cents worth. We've got... A stainless steel crock pot, probably worth about 10 bucks used. What else is in here? Let's look at this. Mail, looks like random parts for something. What does it say on here? Light SRY29, it says right there. So I don't know what those are worth. They came from China, so probably not much. All right, we've got a little jewelry box here. It is, oh, filled with like military medals. I don't know what these are. Uh, military medals and pins and buttons from a uniform. So we're gonna see if we can get this back to the guy, but if not, if I can't get a hold of him, we're gonna sell it. There's a whole bunch of uh, credit cards here, so I had to cut that out. This card was also in there and I found it kind of amusing. We've got some power supplies. These, oh, I was trying to avoid that happening. These are going to get thrown out. We've got empty bag. Another little die cast car. It looks like a building with it. It's probably worth about five bucks or so. We've got a record player. This is a Panasonic, Panasonic record player. I'll test that out. I'm sure that's worth a couple bucks. Uh, block of wood, junk, uh, some sheets, junk, some empty bags, junk, some decent stuff here. I mean, not great, but some brand new trains. Uh, just Target clearance, original price was five bucks on them. Uh, an Iron Man thing and some other die cast cars. Again, nothing of you know, too high value, but I could probably get 10 bucks for this box. And lastly, we've got this mop bucket, a couple of empty gas cans. Uh, we got another one of these wheels. Now this one's a little better, it's rubber, so I don't know if that goes to anything. Some bolts. We have here junk. Uh, 
looks like this is going to be full of like nuts and bolts and other type of hardware. There's some bolts in the bottom of there. Uh, let's see, screen, screen mend, fix screens, like window screens. Uh, this looks like it's all going to be hardware. And, and a gorilla. I don't see anything too special in here. It looks like all hardware, screws, bolts, brackets, things like that. So that is the unit. So I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up. We're gonna get sold. Everything that's going to a local auction will probably be sold in the next couple of weeks. The eBay stuff, well, I mean, that could sell tomorrow. It could sell six months from now. It's tough to say. Uh, we're gonna get all this sold. Then I'm gonna go get the other unit. So I'll show you what that one looks like in another video. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos. This was a really good storage unit. I anticipate I'm gonna make about four to $5,000 from my $440 investment. Hopefully the next one's just as good. It looks good, but it doesn't look quite as good as this one. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like below, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.